Okay, Talanda. Guess what wonderful. we got today? Mm-hmm. We got Brad here. Yay! And by the way, Brad, you're very cute. Just I appreciate say, that. Thanks. Yeah, are you single? I am. Oh, are you eligibly single? Or you, what so. is non eligibly single? I don't know. As long as you're single, you're eligible. That's the way I have a feel. <laughs> well, I just have to tell you, this is. I think you are the founder and CEO of, look at this, Lion Cubs Cookies. Okay. First of all, thank you for bringing these things that look <laughs> yeah, like no the problem. size of my fist. Actually, the size of my husband's fist. They're bigger than They're, that. He okay. said six ounces. So the first thing, six ounces? Six ounces each. That's, Handmade that's like the way a burger. That's bigger than They're a steak. Big. They, they look like cookie burgers. Oh, God. They're delicious. That sounds delicious. really good. And they're served warm. So they're still warm Oh, yeah. Right they're now. better. Uh, okay. Okay. So first of all, how did you come up with the name? That's one of the first questions I always get. And it's one of my favorite questions to answer. And it's really simple. It's just what my dad called me when I was a kid. He called you a lion cub? Yep. Because I had this crazy, like, curly hair. Like, so he's like, it's a lion's Aww. man. I had this off-the-wall energy. I just I got in a lot of trouble was when I was red? a kid. Reddish, brown. It's gotten a little more brown oh, as I've aged. So that's what came up with the name. It's so yep. cute. Okay, I don't really care. Um, I'm <laughs> going to sample one of these because I just am going to do this. You are now partnering with the Cheesecake. Yes, Girl. I can't release too much information we want, on, on what that cookie oh, is. But guess what? You've heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, and we're, we're getting ready to release okay. it very, very Okay, soon. we're going to taste one of those. All right, what's this one? That is Are you allowed to say a the cheesecake name? girl inspired cookie. Okay, we can't oh, say. I can't so release too much right now. It'll be pretty here. obvious, okay. and especially if you get into the middle of that. There's some cheesecake mousse in the middle. Oh god, and that's really where all this. Is, this is terrible. I might need to eat more to make sure. <laughs> oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> okay, keep talking, Brad. Cause what do you want me to talk about? I can talk um, about anything you want. How you came up? How much flour? How much sugar? Oh. <laughs> no. How many calories? Right. No, I don't want to no, even know the calories. Okay. What made you decide you wanted to have a cookie company? And how in the world would you ever come up with an idea of a cookie that doesn't even look anything like any cookie I've ever seen in my entire life? And, and I've been around cookies for a long time. Right. Cheryl's <laughs> cookies. I, I knew Cheryl when she first started her company. Cheryl, God love you. I know you made a lot of millions of dollars, but these cookies are incredible. They're very good. They're I cannot even guess what's in this, but okay. Why these cookies and how you even came up with this? Obviously, you like cookies. So I, I didn't like cookies, though. Oh, I, well, my let God. me take that back. I, I <laughs> didn't love cookies. I wasn't like a cookie connoisseur. I wasn't obsessed with baking or anything. And I never, I don't know how to bake anything else. I like that. A cookie <laughs> connoisseur. Now I am, maybe. But a year and a half ago, when the idea a year and a half happened... Ago? I didn't. Mm. I wasn't like into cookies or anything. Like if you'd asked me two years ago. Oh, go ahead. She wants that. <laughs> You're gonna take the whole damn thing. Now, would you relax? Oh my god. Now, what god. you have to do is you gotta do the break open. Okay, we're gonna do the break. Oh, the break yeah. open. Ready? Okay, That's when you get. All, oh oh my god. god. What all is in that? That's just chocolate and peanut butter. It's like oh a Reese's peanut butter just. cup, but on steroids. Oh yeah. There's it's our really testosterone. Good. <laughs> Okay, just just because I need to know how many calories are in that thing. Oh, oh come on, it's a meal. It's a meal, right? I you, I it's don't know the exact counts. I don't know the exact counts on all the cookies, but I, I estimate. I mean, it depends on the cookie. It's anywhere from you know five hundred to seven, eight, nine hundred, depending on the cookie. It's a meal replacement, pretty much. And I don't think I'm you sure would have a problem with that at all. <laughs> There's protein in this one because of the peanut butter. <laughs> and eggs, so it's good and for eggs, you. thank yep. you. Oh, okay. Okay, now back to how you started this a year and a half ago. Yeah, okay. so a year and a half, two years, yeah, close to a year and a half. So it, it almost happened on accident. And if you were to tell me two years ago, you're going to own a cookie company in two years, and it's going to do really well, I'd be like, you're crazy, baking, that's not who I am. I was like your typical guy who is grilling meat and you know, steak and potatoes, really. Right. And then for whatever reason in November or December of 20, would it be 2018, I made a pumpkin white chocolate chip cookie. I just looked up a recipe and I made it. And was like it in, this big? Yeah, no, it wasn't. But I, I made them and like anyone else, I, I ate them right when they came out of the oven because that's they're when they're warm, best. Right? And then as I started doing it more and more, and I took that to my mom's house for Christmas and literally every single meal, I had one with dessert. So for like seven meals in a row, I'm eating a cookie after we eat a meal. And I'd always eat them fresh or reheat them or just bake them and take them right I, out and, not, not, them. and I have to agree with you. I don't like hard cookies. No, no one wants that. No. <laughs> I like, so, 
Oh, if you, are you just gonna break them all apart? Isn't that what they're here for? Am I doing something against the rules? No, but I have to. Are you gonna keep sure yelling at me? I, as long as I take put a two cookie home, in your mouth, Kelly. I just have to take two home, or I will be shot. Wait till you try that one right Am there. I that is that the one? one we're getting ready to release in like a week. Ooh. That red one right there. And the if you break one. that one open, that'll be fun oh, because that one has God. cheesecake mousse stuffed in the middle. Well, just you can like that. take all those home with you then. I have a 16 year old that'll down these in about 30 seconds. Oh, well, as you know, Brad, my daughter loves these. I mean, she was like, oh, mom, when, the bo- when they came to the door in the boxes, she thought it was going to be a little box. No. Holy mackerel. How did she hear about it? How did she know to get it delivered? I don't know. Probably How did Instagram. She talk- yeah. Probably Instagram. Oh, I mean, most of our advertising okay. has been okay. on Instagram. Cause, cause she's, a, she's a social media guru. Right. So that's how she found. She ordered them. And oh, good thing she's not getting married till next year because she's yeah. going and to I'm ask. I'm guessing me. your daughter's like around my age. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm 29. She's 27. Yeah. So that's like, that's our customer right there. The oh, yeah. Well, to well Alexis and Will, someone Instagram. who can handle the Alexis 500 and Will will be your customers for a long time. I appreciate that. They. They both tried to eat one. Each had one oh after they had their dinner. Uh-uh. I thought she was going to explode. <laughs> she called me and said, Mom. Did she have bloat? She said, well, we have an antidote for bloat. We do. Didn't we Another do a podcast, podcast about that? She said, she, she said, Mom, Will and I have to split these from now on. She goes, because they're so good, you want to eat the whole thing, but then you see more than one flavor. She said, so we're going to kind of like half them or quarter mm-hmm. them and then make them last longer. I said, what do you mean? How long did they last? She was not as long as we would have liked. Yeah. She said they're addicting. They are. It's hard. Like once you start, it's hard to stop eating them. It really is. Oh my God. Okay. What flavor? Okay. So this one's a chocolate and the peanut butter. Yep. What's this one that she already got into? Chocolate chip. Oh, okay. Traditional I, chocolate chip. Traditional. Yeah, have one. I'm just going to try. I don't oh, my girlfriend follows you. I can't. Who's that? Lindsay Swad. Oh, that's. Tell her I appreciate that. I will. She's she's famous now. She's, she's on her podcast. Mm-hmm. Oh, that chocolate chip is. Uh huh. It's a bestseller I, I, for I a have reason. To be honest with you, I do not eat sweets. I eat cookies and ice cream. That's pretty much where I, it stops for me. I almost bought a half a gallon of milk this morning. Just for this. Just for this. Oh, she got some ice cream now, too. Now I now I want milk. Cookies and milk, but I can't imagine dunking one of those cookies. It would like. Explode. Okay, that was the chocolate chip. Mm-hmm. And then what is this one? That's cookies and cream. So that is that's our... That's the one that you love. That's the second bestseller. And so we keep chocolate chip and cookies and cream available at all times just because okay. they're people's favorite. And it makes sense. Like chocolate chip is a classic flavor and an Oreo is a classic flavor. Mm-hmm. So people love and, those and ones. And cookies and cream with cookies and cream ice cream or cookie dough ice cream could be good too. Oh, it is. I can verify. Okay. <laughs> You've heard it here. Brad Kaplan is verifying. Okay. So, how do we, how do, where do we find you? How much are they? How long does it take to get them? Is it a pickup? Is it a delivery? Is it a pop up? What all the, we, just tell us about this. So, we have the most interesting model in Columbus, and there's no one that has the model we have, and it's crazy that it's working. So, the way this works is we have a, like a pre sale system. It's all on our website under the delivery tab. And so, on, like tonight, we have a pre-sale for Dublin and Hilliard to get cookies delivered tomorrow. And so there's a set time for the pre-sale. Oh, God, so Alexis, I hope you're not listening because <laughs> she lives in Hilliard and I live in Dublin. <laughs> so at 8.15 tonight, you go on the website and we'll stock the store right at 8.15. And then what we commit to is we'll deliver these from tomorrow, Tuesday, anywhere from 6.30 to 8.30. We can commit to that time range. We can't give you an exact time. However, we do have a system that sends people text message That's updates. That's 6.30 to 8.30 in the morning? PM. Oh, yeah. PM. At night. And that's strategically that time because that's when people are getting off work and they're settling in. Right. So it's hopefully after dinner, they can then have right. their dessert and watch some baseball or exactly. football. And or- so we have a similar system for other areas. So like on Tuesday, we run a pre-sale day 15 for Easton, Gahanna, New Albany, War- Westerville, and Worthington. So it's kind of like when a food truck goes to a neighborhood, right. but okay. we're going yeah. to a neighborhood and we're taking your order ahead of time, ahead of time. and then we're bringing it right to your door. Mm. Well, they're... Okay, so do they come by the dozen, the half dozen? You can buy six or 12. Six or 12. And what, what's the price point of those? So you can get six for 20 or you can get 12 for 38. Oh, my Lord. That, wow. is, that is a deal. Because they are, I've never seen anything. Okay, so this is the one that you're rolling out. Can you kind of talk about this one? I can. So oh, that's, okay. that's one of the ones mm-hmm. we're doing with the Cheesecake one. Girl. And we're doing both of those. Those two cookies okay, right there, we're both it? doing with the yeah. Cheesecake Girl. But that one we're doing first. And it this is, is the mystery one. We will not say what it tastes like. Okay, but we'll try this one. 
I would highly recommend breaking that one open. I'll let her break it in because I cannot just. I, I'm, I'm, so you got to get to the center. I'll right? be. The centers were the best part. I'll is. be like bouncing off the walls with this. Sugar. Oh, what? Okay. Is that chocolate? No, that's actually, that's just a strawberry that it's stra- got a little browned. It's, <laughs> it's fresh. Yeah, the usual. I mean, it tastes fresh. It, it was baked right before I came here. Yeah, they're warm. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, it, like, like the ingredients and everything tastes like real fresh, fresh ingredients. Not, yeah, I mean, you know, we don't, pasteurized and all that stuff. Yeah, we don't cut corners on spending money on ingredients or, or anything else. It, it's mm. I, I send an email. And anytime someone wants to work for me, I, I send them this email. And I say, this is what we're looking for. And oh, by the way, here's three values that I have for the company. So if these align with you, then let, let's see if we can make this work. And, one and of if the thing, you like cookies. Of course. But one of the things I say is I will never at any point, uh, as a means to save money, deplete cut the corners. quality of our product. It just won't happen ever. That's I'll, the Dave Thomas philosophy from Wendy's International, where, who I worked for for I, many times. And he would have had these cookies in his restaurants. I guarantee you, because he was a sweet, loved sweets. Loved, loved, loved sweets. And I used to have to take the sweets away from him. But he would have absolutely had these in his restaurant. You ought to try that. So you want to expand, because I'm telling you, these things are going to be, there. it's like, how many cookies do you sell in a week? Right now, so we're, we're at capacity, and that's the thing. We can't make any more. Oh. So we're, we're in negotiations for a lease for a new production space to allow us to make more. But to answer your question, we're making 2000 a week right now, and we're wow. going through that. We could be doing more, but we, we can't expand until we get a new space. Are they all right. handmade? Yeah. So, okay, my, so my team's at, the, at our facility right now making cookies for the so week. So they sit there with their hands in the dough with Well, no, no, no. We, we use a, a, a large 60-quart mixer to mix the dough. Oh, yeah. But in order to ball them up, we you do that all to. by hand. Wow. And it's, honestly, it's better than using a scoop because you're getting like carpal tunnel going in the scoop because this dough is like pretty thick. And we, we hand weigh them. So they make wow. a quick ball, they weigh it oh, out, right. and they that put makes it on sense. The, the sheet. It's like meatballs, but cookies. Oh, my. Pretty oh. much. They're meatball cookies. Meatball cookies. Oh, my gosh. We'll try you guys have about soon. 10 or 12 flavors on here. On the website? Yeah. Yes. Well, at least I, I went to the ordering but link they, from they, Instagram. Did they change? Yeah. So okay. the way our menu works is... We have four flavors available every week, and it changes weekly for the most mm-hmm. part. There's a little variation, but nine times out of ten, this is how it works. And every week, we have chocolate chip and cookies and cream available because those are the classics. Those are the best sellers. And then we always have a chocolate flavor available. So we'll rotate like triple chocolate, chocolate peanut butter, chocolate caramel, something else. Okay, what's the, what's the one that's the... Alexis, is, this is her other favorite, the monster cookie. The monster is oh, a, has officially been voted our favorite feature cookie of that, all. That's her, like, that was the first cookie she mentioned to me. Yeah. I said, because I called her and I said, honey, tell me your two, because she got several different kinds. I said, what were your two top ones? She goes, oh, well, you know, um, it's called the monster cookie. And she that's goes, good. and you know I would like cookies and cream because she loves cookies and cream. And I go, okay, the monster cookie. She mm-hmm. goes, oh, mom, it is it awesome. It says on the website, creamy goodness meets unforgettable texture. Chocolate chips, M&Ms, and peanut butter chips blend perfectly with peanut butter oat based dough. She, well, that sounds very good. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. I can attest to the fact that you have, you know, well, my daughter likes desserts. This is at the top. And she loved the cheesecake girl. So she'll be really happy that you're kind of blending two of her favorite things now. Yeah. It's kind of like I have a feeling that her wedding next year, we might be changing from cake to cookies. We get a ton of those emails. And our plan was we were getting ready to launch catering. Mm-hmm. And the plan was, okay, April 1st, we're launching catering. COVID hit. You know, okay, people aren't gathering for weddings or graduation parties because we wanted to be ready for wedding season in the summer. And that just oh, yeah, that, yeah, Yeah, because that's what happened yeah. to us. June 6th came and went. So yep. that's why we're next May. But I actually am going to give you a contact because I have an idea for where you can market these when you want to get back into the catering side. Yeah, we're just kind of waiting for the right the right, moment to yeah, the right time. Move. Yeah. But, you know, I think if you're locked in the house right now, <laughs> I think ordering those cookies delivered to my front door would be a wonderful yes. thing. And I think that's why the model we have, the essentially like an Amazon Prime of cookies, right. you order it in yeah. advance, it shows up fresh. And it's, but it's crazy to think about, like, would people ever consider, hey, order a pizza now to show up tomorrow? But people are doing it, and sometimes we're selling out within a few minutes. Well, we usually oh, really? sell out. Yeah, I mean, there's certain days that sell out faster than others, 
And some takes a couple hours, some takes five I minutes. I bet weekends are pretty Friday slammed. usually sells out within yeah. five or six minutes. Yeah, I'd say five or six slammed. minutes. Pretty much as fast as people can enter in their information. Especially oh, if, we're, really? if we have a cookie like the monster cookie on the menu, which like that would be the fourth option is a feature cookie. We and rotate I, that out. And I bet that if you have somebody that says um, to you, I want to order a box of cookies every week, you could probably do that for them, right? There's people that do do that. Oh. There, there's, there's a I know, lady. I'm so smart. It's probably my daughter. No. <laughs> There's a lady in Hilliard, and she orders. Oh, she orders. It better not be her. <laughs> she does like six or seven orders a week. I, she, I think she sends them to all her friend's house. Oh yeah. And for herself. That's a great, well, great. I, I'm a telling nice you, friend. a yeah. great idea for if you're going to have a shower, if you're going to have a birthday party. I mean, because it's something that's also different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's, it really is, you know, people do cupcakes and all that stuff and lollipop cakes and all that. Now, I'm saying Lion Cubs Cookies is where it's at. So, Brad, congratulations on a great concept, well a great company. Well done, and we certainly like your cookies. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs>